we may be being watched already yeah. by little machines. I don't think they'll be like big flying saucers. Those aren't very practical. They'll... La comunidad científica está dividida en torno a si proclamar nuestra existencia, la de los humanos en la Tierra, en el universo, o escondernos. Michio Kaku, un astrofísico de prestigio, ha dejado claro que es peligroso manifestarnos en el universo porque podría venir una civilización superior y esclavizarnos o exterminarnos. Usted, en cambio, ¿qué propone? No, I don't, I don't think there's any reason to hide. Uh, first of all, a, a technological civilization, if it exists, uh, that's powerful enough to find us at all, <laughs> would, uh, would be powerful enough to uh, find us if we tried to hide. It's not, we can't, we can't hide very well. Uh, it's too late in many ways because we've, already, we've been emitting electromagnetic signals. Right. So I, I think hiding is, is, is not really a, a, a possibility. ¿Cómo cree que nos ven, si es que nos ven, si nos observan, otras civilizaciones del universo? Space is very, very big and the earth is doesn't have any extremely unique resources uh within the galaxy so if there was a a, a galactic civilization intelligence that was exploratory uh i don't think i don't think we have anything that they want particularly you know if you if you imagine a, a future intelligence that's orders of magnitude beyond the human scale uh you know they'd be interested they they humans would be interested to them in the same way as say cats or dogs are interested to humans yeah we would. usted afirma que es prácticamente muy difícil si no imposible que los humanos lleguemos a colonizar otros planetas habitables están simplemente demasiado lejos. ¿Cómo propone entonces explorar el universo? I don't know if it'll be 100 years from now or 1000 years from now, but certainly a very short time compared to a billion years. Uh will be in in one of the important new directions will be in making self-replicating machines, machines that are that you know sort of have children that are like themselves. And if we make self-replicating machines and start sending them out and they replicate uh they they could in in a matter of uh uh hundreds of thousands of years uh or or, or maybe a few a uh, few hundred millions of years uh actually explore the galaxy and send back information about uh all kinds of things que es el tiempo basically saint augustine's uh proposal was that Uh, time is what clocks measure. And if, if the uh, situation gets so uh, extreme that there are no clocks, then time doesn't necessarily have to mean anything. Viajar en el tiempo físico, esto es, distorsionar el espacio-tiempo, es muy difícil. En cambio, usted propone distorsionar el tiempo psicológico, incluso con software ad hoc, un software especial, ¿cómo? Physical time is something that we have equations for that tell us how, how it works. It kind of has a universality and, and we make precise definitions. We have clocks of different kinds that actually measure it. Uh, but psychological time is something we experience and uh can play with we can move forward or backwards and jump around and play with our memory and now in computers we also get to play with that kind of thing you have uh programs that that can go forward but they can also loop back and move around and 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 and, and branch and come back together if you have parallel processing so Uh, so that's another way that it, if you think about time in the context of computer programming or in the context of psychology, you get to very different notions than what you have in physics. Y si todo esto que vivimos es un sueño, si esto no es real, es solo una ilusión de nuestra percepción, 
como propone la caverna platónica, mito de la caverna, o Matrix, más reciente. ¿Cómo sabemos que esto es la realidad? ¿Cómo lo sabe usted? There's been quite a bit of speculation and, and discussion recently of the idea that uh, we live in a simulation, that the world is actually not a physical thing, but is kind of uh, a, uh, a cre is some is a tap information processing yeah. in time inside of some machine. One of the reasons I think that that doesn't sound right is uh, that uh, physical time, as we know it, is much more rigid than than the time you the time you do you get if you just measure step by step in a computer program if we, if we are living inside a simulation it's a very 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 peculiar simulation that doesn't use doesn't use the natural resources that you have in computer programs 